this park goes without saying. It's, it's breathtaking. The artist dedicated 50 years of his life to complete this and it's it's a must see. It's must be like one of the coolest, the coolest like artworks I've ever seen. Like it's the story that is told in every sculpture. His life is probably filled with a lot of tragedies from his early childhood. And also joy, which you can see represented here. And it's just the, the place, it's so beautiful. And I think it's really true as I read a quote there in uh, the cabin where he used to work and do his masterpieces. Uh, they describe this place as paradise and I've actually felt that too. So really hope that you also would be able to come to this part of the world and see this beautiful thing that man that man can create. imagine what kind of life uh, he has gone through, uh, a lot of hardships for sure imagine and this part was quite vulnerable uh, to Soviet Union's influence because it was close to the border of Soviet Union or Russia as it is called today. Uh, so you can see some of these marks in uh, sculptures um, and uh, you know this is this is something you need to experience for yourself uh, you will not get a full view of uh, how this park and these sculptures are you know through the lens of a camera so that's why you need you need to come here because it's it's a different thing to see it you know uh, live and you know it's, these sculptures are surrounded by like the, the most beautiful gardens I've ever seen and you have staff that are maintaining it they're really great they're really artistic in their way of you know uh, doing their job and I can just imagine that you know they must be really proud to you know to maintain this legacy of this great artist that's now have passed from this earth but you see, you see the paradise when you come here, so really hope you have the chance to see this part of Finland. Germany and many other places, so it's really, really 
Masonic uh, place. So I hope you will like this video too. Here now in uh, the centrum of Levanta, uh, we're gonna see find some great food. And what we usually do is that we look for the nicest place in town, and that's usually where the lakes are, or we have some sea sea views, and they have a really nice lake here. So look at this. So what you usually find in these cities where you have water is that you have boats that are uh, made into restaurants so you can eat more, uh, something nice to drink. So it's really cool. Now so we will of... try to find something. Yeah, and it looks like something it's... Something too delicious to eat. See it in the, in the night. And there's a lot of people here. So apparently this hut here is a place where you can stay. Uh, it's like you have about 180 degrees uh, with sea views. So yeah, check that out if you're interested. Some new cool accommodation. Looks like it's also powered with sun energy. So it's cool, located in the water. Nice. So our food just arrived. We're here on this beautiful boat. So you're probably wondering what these small things are on the ground. Uh, they are uh, memorial uh, stones um, to cherish those who fought in the war and uh, fell. So uh, nice peaceful place. Uh, stones with beautiful flowers and uh, names of those who fought in the war and fortunately didn't make it. So, as a past reminder of uh, our country's history. So, but beautiful, beautiful park still. And uh, here you also have a memorial wall. A lot of names. Simon, Simon. Um, this is the biggest lake uh, in Finland, and um, according to Wikipedia, it's the fourth biggest lake in uh, Europe. And the cool thing about this lake, or one of the many cool things, is that it has over 13,000 islands. I mean, 
that's it's like a jungle I mean it's like we have been driving now for you know quite some while and uh, you know see like legs on legs on legs we think it's like legs but you know they're like many small islands you know it's 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 like a jungle I mean just uh, look at the map that's to give you some perspective how high up we are and uh, the land is about 75 meters uh, above sea level. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, in Finnish terms. So it's really unique experience for me at least. So it's, it's just so green here. So much forest. Then we have you know, the berry season coming. We have a lot of those things here. It's forest everywhere. Everywhere you go. There is the forest. It's like we are completely alone here. It's no one. It's a bus. And we got this lake. Saima, here in the background, you have Finland's biggest lake. place and thank the boats
tweet, uh, a small tour, uh, not too long, uh, maybe an hour or a couple of hours. And uh, we're planning to head home uh, to Narpes, uh, Narpia, in the Finnish. And uh, it's about, uh, let's say, about five hours drive from where we're now. So um, we will be home quite, quite late. Uh, we will also drive via uh, Tampere, which is uh, one of the biggest cities uh, in Finland. Really beautiful city. We will fortunately not uh, go into the city center uh, this time. But uh, there's also a nice place there. We will see some. Sunset there. Can share that with you. So um, yeah, there will be more updates along the way. is pretty big on sports uh, that's what you see in the city center uh, they have really huge area for sports tennis uh, courts uh, football fields I think we saw um, and uh, ski jumping uh, tennis uh, I already said um, and it's really beautiful you know with the sun going down seems to be quite lively it's friday a lot of young people outdoors walking around with their scooters <laughs> what, am, what am i saying scooters walking around with the portable uh, music uh, speakers that are blasting off and the backpacks people also going these small scooters so yeah, a lot of people in the park yeah, having some drinks, stuff like that. It seems to be a pretty relaxed place and see a lot of young people out. And, and look at this area, it's so cool. <laughs> So far, I think we both agree that this is probably one of the beautiful, most beautiful cities in Finland. I mean, it's... Jesus. Yeah, look, look at that. Look at that. Stop here.
So you see yourself? It's lively as It's a Friday, but I haven't ever seen something like this. And it's not such a big city either, so it's really cool. Cool to see. Let's go!